Hello my creative friends. Welcome to my messy workspace. I recently made this card for a Stamp Nation challenge and I wanted to share with you how I created these flowers. The stamp set I'm going to use is called Flower Shop and the other tools you're going to need other than the stamps are some inks and sponges. I'll post a link down below on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube so that you can go to my blog and see the card, more pictures of the card and the supply list of all the colors and things that I used on this card. Um, or you can just go to www.heatherscreativeblessings.blogspot.com and search for me there. So the first color I'm going to use is pumpkin pie. And what you want to do, I just pounce to get a little bit of extra ink off, and then I just start swirling it onto my cardstock. The more color you add on, the darker it will get. So start light, and you can keep adding layers as you want. Also, as it dries, it will lighten a little bit as well. If you haven't seen the Stampin' Sponges, they come in a set of three this size. I cut them in half and then I cut them in half again and then in half again. So you end up with eight wedges from one sponge. So you, 24 wedges, you could do so many different colors. And I've been told you can just rinse them out when you're done using them and reuse them. So once you have the color that you want, then you're going to stamp. And I did a couple of different things. The first thing was tone on tone. So pumpkin pie sponging, pumpkin pie ink with one of my stamps. And you get that look. And it will lighten as it dries. Next I'm going to take Melon Mambo. Isn't that fun? I think this is a great way to get different colors in your background. A little more subtle than just stamping right on the cardstock. Let me show you what that would look like. Here's a piece of my pumpkin pie cardstock, and I'm just going to use pumpkin pie and stamp. And I'll try it with the melon mambo and stamp. And that's nice too. I just like the subtleness, I think, of the sponging in the background. I'm going to pull out a different flower from the stamp set. I sponged the top part so I can show you a couple more things. Um, ink up your stamp. This is a Melon Mambo. And then you stamp off. So what that means basically is you just stamp off and then stamp on your cardstock and what you get is a much lighter, more subtle look. And to change it up one more time, this is Night of Navy. This is a much darker color. And that's what that looks like. Let me show you Night of Navy on the pumpkin pie cardstock. You can see I did that Night of Navy with the Melon Mambo sponge in the background. I did the same thing with the green. I sponged in Gumball Green and I just used various stamps from the stamp set and stamped in Gumball Green onto my sponge background and then I punched it out with different punches. This is I think from the Biddy Punch Pack. I used a half inch punch I uh, used the Boho Blossoms punch. To get the leaves, I used the wing and the leaf from the bird punch. And for this shape, I used our new pansy punch. It lines up with all of those different pansy stamps punches right out. 
Sorry for my messy desk, but I hope that you learned something today. I hope you picked up a tip or two. Let me show you real quick the My Friend. This is from the six-sided sampler, and I just used one of the scrap pieces that had a little bit of melon mumbo on pumpkin pie. And then I took Knight of Navy and stamped it. And then I punched it out with the modern label punch. So much fun to make your own background paper. And it really makes your inks and your stamps go even further than before. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you find some time today to get a little bit creative. Bye.